And we are quickly underway. Kevin McGahey here with a voiceover. And Mike DeSantis behind the camera tonight. It is another Upper St. Clair Homeboys Volleyball match. It is Tuesday, May 6th, 2014. And tonight the Panthers playing in black, left to right. Welcome to our gym from way up north, up Route 8, the Titans of Shaler High School. Panthers already playoff bound. Shayla looks like will not make the playoffs. Just the same, this is a non-section friendly. Doesn't really count in the standings, but Mitch Boring makes it count. And the Panthers are on the board here. It's early in set number one. It's 2-1 Shaler for now. With Mitch Boring, senior, playing in one of his final three matches here. Getting us off the snide and a mistimed set. It looked pretty good from where I was sitting, but the timing was just off. And there's one that goes down, number 13 for Shaler, is senior Max Reno. They have a lot of seniors, five seniors in the starting lineup. Five seniors, two juniors, and a freshman for Shaler. And they've got an early 3-2 lead, jump serve over the top. Bill Smith with a set from the back row. Mitch Boring off the block and over it goes. Mitch Boring. Two kills for the Panthers, two for Mitch Boring side out. Point Panthers were all tied up at three. It's early in the first set of this match. A match consists of the best of five. Sets first one to win three, wins the match. Oh, Mitch Boring coming back with the left hand to keep that one in play. Quick set just over the net. Great pancake move by Mitch Boring. John Pearson took that set awkwardly behind him and hammered it into the St. Clair net side out, point Shaler. Where number two steps up, that is the freshman Stephen Borgen for Shaler. Mitch Borgen way over the top. Well, it was from the back row. He didn't have a really good look at it. He came at it from the side, hoisted it way long and wide. And the Titans get that two-point lead back at 5-3. The block, and it's still in play. Bill Smith pops it up and from the back row. That's Brad Kolditz, but not enough to get over the net. And the Panthers off to a bit of a rocky start here. Shayla with an early 6-3 lead. It's still extremely early in the match. Alan Stott picking it up. Bill Smith, the quick set. Jared Brown pushing it over the net, but not to the floor. Well, that's a nice solid hit by Shaler. Alan Stott taking a good whack at it. Off his wrist over the back line, and just like that, Shaler's got a four-point lead at 7-3. And a pretty good serving run by Stephen Borgen going on here. It was playable, way up in the rafters, but playable. Wow, whistle down the floor. That's another one of the seniors, Sam Masko Maskowitz. A six-foot outside hitter for Shaler, and the lead's five now, 8-3. Panthers could break this, use a quick, well. So we take that one, service error. Service error breaks that run of Shaler points. Panthers trail by four, 8-4 four early in the first set. A set goes to 25, you have to win it by two points. It's rally scoring, somebody scores on every serve. And that one fooled the St. Clair defense. Substitute coming in on the floor. Jared Brown heads out, Nolan Kondrich on the floor. Steve, Steve Jordan with the Shaler serve. John Pearson right into the block by Sam Askowitz. Now the lead is six. Shaler has a 10-4 lead, make it 10-5. Sec 
That's first ace of the match, Alan Stott, and co coach Josh Ficarelli not really too pleased with the way this thing has gotten off. 11-4, Shaler up by seven. It's kind of reminiscent of a match played here a couple of weeks ago when the Panthers got down against Central Catholic and lost the first two sets and came roaring back to win the final three. I wish there were more offense to talk about so far, but the Panthers only have four points. Mitch Boring has two of them on tremendous kills, but other than that, not a whole lot to talk about. Shaler are the ones right now with a good defense and the good offense. Still real early in set number one. Panthers already playoff bound. We will get a match, at least one. Be nice to get a home match out of this. Sort of depends on how we finish up. We have one more section match left. It's a postponed match from earlier in the season, and that will be against Moon Township right here in, the, in our gym on Thursday. Meanwhile, the Panthers with their job at hand here, Steve Jordan back for the Shaler serve, and the Panthers needing some offense here. Alan Stott pops it forward. Bill Smith with a quick set. Nolan Condrich with a hit, and it'll go out of bounds. Nolan Condrich, the freshman, with his first kill. And a well-earned point. 11-5. Shaler still leads here in the first set. It'll be John Pearson out of the back. He will use the jump serve. Just long. Too bad. My goodness. It had a good look. That's just not enough gravity to suck that thing down. It goes about 11 inches too long over the back line. Service error. Side out. Point. Shaler. And that one goes out. Serving gods gave it and took it away. 12-6. Panthers still down. Not out. Mitch Boring, the senior. Outside hitter. Back for the serve. Back set to the right side and a slicing attack by number 14, Justin Landry, another one of those seniors. Trading points is not going to work for the Panthers. On the floor now is Rob Mackey. We're at number 25. Brad Kolitz up high for his first kill. That's how you do it, son. Good set, good finish. Set to the left side and uh, drug off the floor by Mitch Boring. Brad Kolditz again, ah, but it got off his wrist. Sailed that one into the Shaler bench. Panthers can't seem to put a string of points together here. Shaler's got a seven point lead, 14-7. And it's James Galtieri, a uh, junior with that serve. And Brad Kolditz, but right into the block again. You gotta get around those two, that double block. From the back row, Bill Smith with a set. Left side, Kolditz again off the block that time and into the scorer's table. Brad Kolditz with power, but trading points is not going to do it for these Panthers. John Pearson checks back in. Rob Mackey, number 25, out. Bill Smith for the serve. Nothing fancy. Oh, it's at the net. And it should be a net violation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, over, the backward over the head set almost worked, but the setter backed into the net. That's a violation, no good. Point Panthers, that's two back to back. Oh, the Panthers after a pretty good recovery. Just let one drop in the center of the defense. Point and side out, Shaler 15-9 now. Ty Shramowski. Back set right side, but Brad Colditz sails it long. Well, Panthers having a hard time finding the floor on some of these hits. Ty Shramowski again with a jump serve and a good one. And it lands just inside of Allen Stott. Second ace on the night for the Titans. The lead is eight, 17-9. Service error gives it right back. Two aces, two errors so far for Shaler. Panthers get the side out and the point, but trading points will not do it. Brad Kolditz with the serve. 
Pandas need some defense right here. Well, they got the block all right. No one there to cover. Shaler once again with that point. 18-10 now is the lead. And another ace. Lands just in front of Alan Stoddig. A nice dive for it, but not enough to keep it alive. Steven Borgen. From the back row, covered nicely by Brad Kolditz. Back set to the right side, John Pearson, but hoisted it way out of bounds, and now the Panthers in some difficulty here. We're at 20-point territory, and Shaler leads 20 to 10 with a substantial lead. Panthers needing points. Short set, Mitch Boring. Well, there's one of them, the slicing attack by Mitch Boring. He got the first two points for the Panthers. We haven't heard from him since. Now we have three kills for Mitch Boring. Bill Smith with the serve. Panthers needing nine points to get back in this first set. Serve drops just over at the net and just over on the second touch. Steve Jordan with the St. Clair serve. And it is another ace, four on the night now for the Shaler Titans, 22-11. Titans have doubled up the Panthers. Steve Jordan again with the Titans, sir, and comes up short. Four aces, three errors. John Pearson now, Panthers trailing by 10. Good hard driving serve at the net, and the, the overpass taken care of by Mitch Boring for kill number four. Panthers still need nine to get back in this doggone thing. 22-13. Shaler leading in set number one. The set goes to 25. You have to win it by two. Good serve, John Pearson again. From the back row, Brad Kolditz. My goodness, good hit, but could not find that floor. Comes back to the left side, and down it goes. Very nicely placed by Sam Maskowitz. Rob Mackey, number 25, checks back in. John Pearson out. Rob will play back row. Back, Mitch Boring off the block, and down it goes. Mitch Boring got the first two points, and then three back to back to back here. But still, Panthers have a pretty good size hole to dig out of. 23-14, Shaler. Decent serve at the net. Called out. Just barely out, but the linesman had a good look at that. Panthers get him back one at a time. 23-15. Mitch boring the serve. And an ace. First one of the night for the Panthers. 23-16. Back set right side, and the Panthers get one more. Down by 11, not that long ago. Panthers trail by six, 23-17. Is their life left? Mitch Boring again the serve. <laughs> and a good one. Left side. And there's one more for the Panthers. 23-18. Timeout. Shaler. But the Panthers suddenly forcing some errors on the Shaler side and getting some decent attacks ourselves. Mitch Boring came alive here lately. He leads the team 
with five kills. Brad Kolditz, number 14, he's got two and one from freshman Nolan Condrich, not on the floor right now, I don't believe. Only one ace, that off the hand of Mitch Boring just a few minutes ago. And other than that, that's about it for offense so far. Um, Mitch Boring with a decent dig. Alan Stott with a couple, but no blocks yet. The defense has not, the net play has not produced any points yet. The night is still young, but right now the Panthers could use five. And they need some good defense. The offense has the advantage here. They get the first whack at a classic bump set attack. And the Panthers need some good defense. And a good serve by Mitch Boring. Decent. There's the set on oh, the second touch. Goes over Rob Mackey covers. Now the Panthers have a free ball. Over in the second one. It goes left side. Nice block by Bill Smith. It's still a free ball. Shaler, he will not come back with power. Now it's a free ball, Panthers. Bill Smith with the set. Nolan Kongrich did not find the floor. It is a net violation. <laughs> the Panthers just like that. Within four, 23, 19. They've outscored Shaler eight to one on this run. Mitch boring the serve and a good one. Should be a free ball covered by Rob Mackey. Nice timing, Rob. And over it goes. Free ball, though, Shaler at the net. Allen Stott with a tremendous dig. From the back row, Allen Stott keeping that alive. And Mitch Boring taking care of business. 23-20. Mitch with a terrific run going here. Now some defense. From the back row, Allen Stott gets it. Free ball, Shaler. At the net, quick set back to the right side. Oh, the block, Brad Kolditz blocked it down. Now, free ball, Panthers. Set to the left side. Brad Kolditz just touching it over. We'll get another shot at it. There's the set. Oh, and it'll be a double hit call. Yeah. Too much spin on the set. The setter's allowed to hit it with two hands. But Bill Smith put a little too much spin on it. Now, Shaler gets that critical point they needed. They have four set points in hand. At the net, joust won by the Panthers, but not the point. Rob Mackey puts it up. Left side, Red, Red Kolditz up in the rafters, and it's still in play. Mitch Boring still can't find the dog on floor. It'll be Brad Kolditz with a try off the net and out, and that will do it. Well, a valiant comeback by the Panthers, but it comes up short here in set number one. Shaler comes away with set number 125-20. Plenty of volleyball left to play. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back for the second set. We are back. Thanks for hanging with us, everybody. This is the start of set number two. Kevin McGahee still here with a voiceover. Mike DeSantis behind the camera. And the Shaler Titans are still here. Now let's see what the Panthers can do to get back at this. The Panthers just dug themselves too big a hole in that first set and could not extract themselves out of it, put together a nice comeback toward the end of the set. Not enough to take it away. And the Panthers start off, though, with point number one here in set number two. At the net and the block. Initially called for the Panthers, it actually goes Shaler's way. It was blocked, apparently out of bounds. Let's double check that. It was right at the official's feet. He may not have had the best look at it. He's checking with the linesman to see what the linesman had to say. Yeah, indeed, it landed out of bounds. The block did. Point belongs to Shaler, and we're all tied up at one. Jake Schreckengost for Shaler, back with the serve. Bill Smith with the set and. Yeah, it looks like a foot violation. Point Shaler. Oh. 
And that is Jared Brown, finally, for his first kill tonight. Even in set number two up at two. Brad Kolditz, number 14, back for the St. Clair serve. And a good one, kind of a backspin floater. It is still in play. Free ball, Panthers. Oh, but not covered. It landed just in front of number 21, Garrett O'Grady, who's checked in here for set two. And it's Rob Mackey wearing the libero jersey, red. Something for Alan Stott, who carried it through the first, first set. There's Rob right there. And Garrett O'Grady into the block and out. Garrett O'Grady in the books with his first kill. We're tied at three. Jared Brown, the senior. Nice little punch serve. Nothing fancy about it. Setter has it back to the left side, off the block and down. Ty Shramowski, number 30, and he will head right back to the, for the Shaler serve with the Titans leading 4-3. This is the second set of this best of five match. Shaler's got one set in hand in the books already. It'll be a jump serve and a bad one. Well, it comes up way low. That's the trouble with that jump serve once you've committed. It's devastating when it works. It is, it is unlucky when it doesn't. That's a service error. Alan Stott now wearing a black jersey, playing some traditional defense, wearing number 26. Back set right side. Alan Stott pops it up. Nicely done, Bill Smith, with the set. And from the back row, Brad Kolditz, but could not find that polyurethane. On the left side, nice slicing attack by Mitch Boring. Comes through. Short set covered nicely by the Panthers. Best rally we've seen all night. And it lands out. Did anybody touch it? No touch. Out it goes. Panthers get the point after that long, interesting rally. Well, that serve goes long off Allen Stott. Mitch, boring, but still could not find the doggone floor. How about that? It's up in the rafters. It's playable and handled nicely by Jacob Ty. His first kill of the night. Suddenly there's uh, six attackers in the books with kills where there were two for most of the second of the first set. Mitch boring with the serve. He had a nice long run of serves in the first set. But not that time. The little push move sends it right to the back left corner. Excellent placement that ties us all up at six here in the second set. Steve Jordan. A uh, senior for Shaler with that serve off the block and down. Brad Kolitz using the power, and he must have snapped somebody's finger off with the block. I'm glad I'm not out there having to deal with these stupid things, doggone it. But the Panthers get the 7-6 lead. Rob Mackey in the libero jersey. Just barely did not make it over the net. Third service error for the Panthers tonight. Well, there's another one for <laughs> Shaler. Those serving gods, they usually come in pairs. They'll give you one, they take one. 8-7. Panthers with a one-point lead. Garrett O'Grady checks back in for Allen Stott. We'll be, we'll be seeing a lot more of Garrett next year. He's a junior with still that one year of eligibility, eligibility left. Back set right side over the top. Bill Smith has it. Garrett O'Grady pops it up, and Brad Kolditz pops it down. <laughs> Fooled everybody. They were expecting a lot, a lot harder attack than that. It ended up being nice and soft and fell right where it needs to be. <laughs> Left side into the net. Well, Panthers will take that from Ty Shramowski. And the Panthers have a three-point lead in this set where none existed last set. Bill Smith again to serve. There's the back set right side. And another one into the net. 
Justin Landry this time. Panthers beneficiaries of some errors now by Shaler and a four point lead at 11-7. Meanwhile, there's a little bit more offense to talk about here. Panthers are gonna spend this week getting primed for the playoffs. They start next week. It's two non-section contests this week. First, we've got Shaler here from section two, triple A. Tomorrow night, it's Deer Lakes from double A, also a friendly to get ready for the playoffs. And we finish off the section season with a Thursday night with the Moon Township Tigers, that last remaining section contest. Meanwhile, Mitch Boring leading all attackers with six kills so far tonight. Brad Colditz in second place with four, and then with one each, senior Jared Brown, junior Jacob Ty, junior Garrett O'Grady, and freshman Nolan Condrich, who we've not seen in this second set, but he had some good playing minutes in the first set. It'll be Dilly Smith again with the St. Clair serve and a four-point lead at 11-7. Panthers trying to even up this match at one set apiece. And let's see if the Panthers can work through this timeout. Bill Smith with the serve and not let Shaler break that string of points. Left side. Oh, uh, Rob Mackey touched it. He probably should let it go. He couldn't decide. <coughs> It probably was going to land out, out, but Rob Mackey played it. Side out, point, Shaler. Jake Schreckengoss, the serve, the set, Garrett O'Grady with the attack. And it just doesn't come back. It was a set to, well, I don't know who the set was to. The Panthers get that point and the four-point lead back at 12-8. And it's a service ace. That one just drifted down. Gravity sucking that one to the floor. And it's Brad Colditz's first ace tonight. Second for the team. Another little floater, but covered that time. Anticipated by the Titans off the block. It is in play. Rob Mackey has it. Nice recovery. Nice coverage by Brad Colditz, who's got it. Mitch Boring with the attack. And... Off a tip and out of bounds, Mitch Boring kills seven and a six-point Panther lead at 14-8. Dramatically different from what happened last set. Brad Colditz, the floater serve from the back row. Mitch Boring again, but did not find a spot. A double hit will be called there. Same thing we saw early on, or earlier on from Bill Smith, the setter. It's the guy who did the setting was not a setter. He used two hands, put too much spin on it. You can't do that. And the lead is seven for the Panthers now. 15, eight, make it nine. On that big time kill by Shaler. On the floor, substitution number six comes in. That's James Galtieri. Good serve, Brad Colditz, Bill Smith, and Mitch Boring, but still cannot find that floor. And that slicing attack by uh, senior number 10, Steve Jordan, taking advantage of the positioning situation of the Panthers, side out, point Shaler, 15-10, and that one sails long. Panthers will take that, six service errors for Shaler. Six point Panther lead, 16-10. Jared Brown, the serve, left side, off the tip, and it's still good. Quick set, oh my goodness, well done right at Brad Colditz. Tough attack that time, the set was behind the attacker, and double hit's gonna be called there too. Too much spin on that set. <clears throat> Substitution for Shaler. Number 29, sophomore Tommy Kautz. Quick set, Jacob Ty rattles it over. And out of bounds, Shaler with the point. That's six point, uh, Shaler's gotten two of those six points back. 16-10. Panthers still lead. 
Mitch Boring having some terrific hits here, but not enough to get to the floor. That slice is out of bounds. Panthers get the get one back, 17-12. Trading points works for the Panthers now. Ty Stromowski, number 30 for Shaler, checks back in. Garrett O'Grady. Just a balloon ball of a serve. He covers it at, at the back. Yeah, that should be another double hit, yeah. Yeah, they're calling him tight. It's a judgment call from the officials, but he's calling them consistently. For both teams, too much spin on that set. Garrett O'Grady again. Panthers lead by six, 18-12. Wow, good strike at it by Sam Maskowitz, but that sails long, and the Panthers lead is seven now at 19-12. Garrett O'Grady again, nothing fancy on that serve. Back set right side, and off the block and down, number 13, Max Reno. One of the Shaler seniors, he heads to the bench, substitutes a Jake Schreckengoss, number 20 on the floor. Panthers can still trade points, 19-13, the lead is six. Freshman Steven Borgen, the Shaler serve. Mitch Boring off a tip, but it is still in play. Left side off a block and out of bounds. Sam Maskowitz comes away with that one. Steven Borgen again. There's the Bill Smith set. Mitch Boring finally puts one away. Wow. He's been getting a lot of hits, but the percentage hasn't been great. That one is how it is done, boys and girls. And eight kills now for Mitch Boring, and he'll be back to serve the Panthers with a six-point lead at 2014. At the net, short set off a block, and the well, everybody was backing away on the St. Clair defense. It's still okay. Panthers can trade points. It's fine and dandy. Steve Jordan, the good little jump serve just then. Yeah, it sure fooled Rob Mackey. That counted. Steve Jordan's jump serve produces an ace for Shaler. There's the set, and Brad Kolitz off the terrific Billy Smith set. And the Panthers can and are trading points here, 21-16. The set goes to 25, you have to win it by two. Back set right side off the block, it's still alive. Great wrister by. Still in play, nice little rally, who's got it? Jared Brown gives him a free ball. A double hit called on the hit over. Wasn't too sure you could do that. Panthers can still trade points. Jared Brown lets a lift. That's like palm in a basketball. Lift call. The ball just got too low. And the Titans did not know what to do with it. Garrett O'Grady checks back in for Allen Stott. Bill Smith back with a serve. 22-17. Panthers three points away from pay dirt in the second set. Good serve by Bill Smith. A low, hard driving serve, and it's an ace for him. Third of the night for the Panthers. <laughs> Timeout called by Coach Stadelman of Shaler. Panthers leading by 623-17 in relatively decent shape to tie this match up at a set apiece here. Two points to go for the Panthers. Eight kills registered tonight so far for the senior Mitch Boring. Brad Kolditz, the junior, number 14, he's got five and still sitting on one each for Jared Brown, Jacob Tyne, and we're number five tonight, Garrett O'Grady, and number 22, Nolan Congridge, who again we have not seen since the first set. Three service aces in the books for the Panthers tonight. Bill Smith just got one. Brad Kolditz also with one, and Mitch Boring 
had one in the first set. Now, let's hope this timeout did not upset the Panthers' rhythm. 23-17, needing two to finish out the second set. There's the back set, but won't produce much. Didn't come by with, with power. And Brad Kolditz has some power. And Brad Kolditz, look at that. Well-timed, well-struck, and the Panthers now with seven. Count them, seven set points in hand. Any one of these next seven points goes the Panthers' way, and this set is history. So it's a nice cushion for the Panthers to be sitting on as Bill Smith steps up with a serve. And it is an ace. Bill Smith finishes it up, and the Panthers finish up the second set with a 25-17 victory. We are all knotted up at a set apiece. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back for the third set. And the Panthers off to an early 2-0 lead here in the third set. Bill Smith doing the serving. At the net, back left side. Well, Mitch Boring had it. It caromed off his right arm and out of bounds. <laughs> Shaler gets the side out in the point. Panthers still lead 2-1. We're glad you stuck with us, everybody. Kevin McGee, he's still here doing the voiceover. Mike DeSantis still behind the camera. And the Panthers still needing a few points here. Rob Mackey digging that one off the floor. Back set, Brad Kolditz. Ah. Whacked down by Steve Jordan of Shaler. And we're all even at two in this third set. And a service error goes the Panthers way off the hands of Tommy Couts. Brad Kolditz now behind the serving line. Does a little short serve, dug off the floor. Oh, and hammered down Jared Brown with the first block for a point tonight. And the Panthers off to a 4-2 lead here in this third set. Brad Kolditz again with a serve. Yeah, that was a nice one over the top by, over the top by Sam Maskowitz of Shaler. Now back for the serving is the one freshman on the floor, Stephen Borgen, wearing the libero jersey. Rob Mackey to Bill Smith, left side Mitch Boring off the block. Still in play, left side, Shaler. And a point for the Panthers. Jared Brown looks like he might have gotten a hand on that one. Yes, indeed. And it's that same Jared Brown. Dishing it up. There's a little hop serve. Left side. That one got hit fat. You could hear that from all the way up here. A little less fat that time. Mitch Boring with a nice dig. It's a free ball. Shaler, who's got it? Well, it goes into the net from the back row. That was Ty Schramowski. Panthers have doubled up. Shaler 6-3 here in the third set. On the two ball. Well, they fool him sometimes. That is the setter, Steve Jordan. Timely little left-handed number. Put it right back inside the uh, upper St. Clair defensive donut hole. Side out. Point Shaler and same Steve Jordan with the serve. Double hit called on Brad Cole. It's trying to get that thing back over. The net. He did make it back over the net. But the too much spin on the ball. Double hit. Made it a violation. Violation. 
Brad Kolitz whistling one to the Shaler side, but out of bounds. And we're all even up at six. Steve Jordan once again with a Shaler serve. Back set. Garrett O'Grady floating it over and covered by the Titans. Nolan Kondrich back on the floor with an attempt and didn't go anywhere. Mitch Boring just right at the defense. And the Panthers will take that one. That was a four-hit call. You only get three. Four hits is the call. Panthers are beneficiaries, and it's Garrett O'Grady with a gentle little push serve. Left side back this way into the net again. Well, a couple of mistakes, and the Panthers get a couple of points out of it. That was Justin Landry with the Shaler attempt. Garrett O'Grady once again with a serve. At the net, back set right side, and the slicing attack lands just inside the back line. Eight, seven, side out. Point, Shaler. Sam Askowitz back to the back line. Mitch Boring off the block and down his first kill of this third set. Nine on the night. And the Panthers with a two-point lead, 9-7. We could use a few more. Giving us a little cushion here. Mitch Boring with that serve. <coughs> off the block and uh, going long. Yeah, that's a nice fat hit by Ty Shramowski. Jake Schreckengoss now. Shaler serve. Rob Mackey to Bill Smith left side. Brad Kolditz just long. Oh, too bad. Brad had a beat on that. And Shaler got that two points right back. We're knotted up at eight. Panthers cannot shake these Titans. The knuckleball of a serve. But Brad Kolditz cannot just place it over the net. Shaler grabs her first lead of the third set. Well, they give it right back, those serving gods. They love you, they hate you. Eight errors now for Shaler versus five aces, and we're all tied up at 10. From the back row, nicely dug off the floor by Garrett O'Grady, my goodness. Short set, but Jared Brown can't find an open spot. Good block by Bill Smith. Slicing attack, lands just in front of Nolan Kondrich. He had a look at it, but not enough to keep it up. In the air, 11-10, Shalers grabs the lead back. James Galtieri. It will go over, Mitch Boring sends the ball over. Free ball, Titans left side. Slicing attack works. Ty Shramowski, 12-10, Titans lead. Panthers need to break this one, nip this one in the bud right now. Bill Smith on the second ball. Well, there's one way to do it, Bill Smith. Gets his first kill. You don't get a lot of them from your setter, but we just got one. Allen Stott, number 26, goes out. Garrett O'Grady, number 21, back on the floor. And it is Bill Smith for the serve. Panthers trail by one. 12-11. Great pancake move. Did it count? Oh, it hit the floor. I don't know. It looked like a pretty good pancake move to me. But the official called it down, and it'll be an ace for Bill Smith. On the left side, Mitch Boring drags it out. Bill Smith with a back set right side. Garrett O'Grady just nudging the ball over the net for his second kill. And the Panthers get the lead back at 13-12. Bill Smith still serving. Rob Mackey dig digs it. <laughs> Mitch Boring still can't finish it off. It's still in play. We'll try it again, free ball. Jared Brown, eh, not much for him to work with there. Left side now, Shaler doing the same thing. That was a 
How you can have a double hit with one hand, that I don't know, but that's apparently what the call was. 13 all, we're all knotted up. Tommy Couts with the Shaler serve. Brad Kolditz, but right into the Shaler block. And the Titans grab the lead back at 14-13. Tommy Couts again. Good long drive serve. Garrett O'Grady didn't have much to work with, but it is still in play. Bill Smith now. Brad Kolditz with the nice high set. And Garrett O'Grady. Ah! Nicely placed over by number 10, Steve Jordan. The setter gets a kill again, and the Titans, just like that, are up by two again, 15-13. Mitch Boring, a tremendous attack, but right into the Shaler double block. And the Panthers down by three, 16-13, needing to break this string. Well, there, that's, how, that's one way to do it with a serve that goes about 15 feet too long. Now can Brad Kolditz get us right back in this 16-14. Shaler's got a two-point lead. Panthers could use a couple. Back set right side, slicing attack goes down. Number 13, Max Reno. We haven't called his name very much tonight, but there's a timely kill right there, 17-14. Shaler now leads by three. Left side, Mitch Boring. Down, wow, rocket shot. Down it goes. No chance for Shaler on that one. Now can the Panthers string a couple together? Trading points here again. I've been saying it all night long. Trading points isn't going to cut it. Panthers need a little run. Jared Brown, what's he got for us? Panthers need some D right here. Now nah, that's not going to do it. Sam Maskowitz gets the kill. Shaler content to trade points, that's for sure. And it's Steve Jordan, the setter, back for the Titan serve. Free ball, Titans. Left side. Rob Mackey dragging that one off the floor, and Mitch Boring had the right idea to shove that thing to the back corner, but he shoved it just wide into the Shaler bench. Titans lead by four. Make it five. The ace lands just in front of Brad Colditz. Six aces on the night now for Shaler and a five point lead 2015. It's boring off the block again. Mitch cannot seem to find an open spot on the floor with these attacks. It's over. Too bad again. Mitch Boring had a great look at it. Sailed it just long. 21-15. Bill Smith with it. Nolan Kondrich rolls it off the net and down. His first kill in a while. Hits his second on the night. And the Panthers have dug themselves another hole to dig out of dig out of here now. Garrett O'Grady with the serve. Great block by Nolan Condrich. Right place, right time. Now, one at a time. Panthers need four to get back in this. 21-17 Titans. Right side attack, nice soft one, free ball, Panthers. Mitch Boring on the left side off the block. Still, my goodness, right at the defense. Yeah. And Sam Maskowitz polishes that one off. Side out, point, Shaler and a five point lead at 22 17. Just over, but shoved right back down on the block by Ty Schramowski of Shaler. Six point lead, 23-17 Titans. From the back row, Brad Kolditz, but again, the defense for Shaler, carrying him through. 
Panthers alive, but needing five here to get back in set three. Back set. Well, there's one the Panthers can, or the Panthers get a freebie there. Sam Maskowitz shoved it into the net, and Coach Stadelman will take a quick break. Panthers trail by four, 23-19. Mitch Boring having a gr good attack night, but a lot of these are not yet finding the floor. He's got 10 successful kills. Brad Coldit still hanging in there in second place with six. Garrett O'Grady and Nolan Condrich each have two so far. Jared Brown, one. Jacob Ty was in shortly. He's got one, as does the center, Bill Smith. Billy Smith, though, contributing with aces. He's got three service aces on the night. And the Panthers could use a couple of those right now. Trailing by four, 23-19. It'll be senior Mitch Boring at the back row for the Panthers serve. We are setting here. We go down the stretch now in this third set. Panthers need four. Nice high set left side. It is a free ball. Bill Smith tried to fool him, but I didn't to say he did not. Steve Jordan, the slicing attack, and it works. And now the Shaler Titans, five set points in hand, 24-19. They just need one point of the next five to take a two sets to one lead. Some discussion about how that last point ended. Josh Ficarelli, the coach for the Panthers, is not going to win that one. Rob Mackey, Bill Smith, and a double hit will end it. It's sort of unbelievable, but he has called it tight like that all night long. And the Shaler Titans come away with a set three victory, 25-19. Still at least one to play. Shaler's got a two sets to one lead. Stick with us, everybody. We'll be right back for the fourth we set. We are all batting down here for the fourth set now with the Shaler Titans in town against the, the Upper St. Clair Panthers. New player on the floor. Bill Smith now wearing the libero jersey, number nine in red. And the first point belongs to Shaler. Eric Lehman, number 11, is the new player on the floor for the Panthers. Well, <clears throat> Shaler off to a 2-0 lead here in the fourth set. Stephen Borgen with that serve. More tremendous Shaler defense here. Garrett O'Grady, not much that defense can do about that. Garrett O'Grady, the slicing attack, zipping right into the Shaler bench. Dome, too bad John Pearson had a tremendous serve. It just didn't die quickly enough. Lands just long in the service error. Gives a side out, end point, Shaler, where Steve Jordan, the senior, he's the setter, takes over uh, with putting the ball back in play. Bill Smith, the set. Net violation, looks like Eric Lehman backed into the net. Not allowed to do that, you gotta stay away from it. He did okay getting to that bumped ball, but. And there is an ace by Steve Jordan. Seven aces on the night for Shaler, five for our Panthers, and it's a five, one lead. Shaler Titans here in this fourth set. And another ace 
for Steve Jordan. 6-1, Shaler. Bill Smith gets it this time. Mitch Boring still hitting it right at the defenders. Garrett O'Grady not, though, with a nice soft touch. He gets his fourth kill. Nolan Condrich, number 22, checks in. And it's senior Jared Brown to the back for the attack. And the ace, Jared Brown coming through with one, his first. Six on the night now for the Panthers. Shaler still leads, 6-3. From the right side, off the Mitch Boring block and down. at Sam Maskowitz. Side out, point Titans. That fooled Bill Smith. I thought he had a good beat on it, but it ends up being the ninth ace of the night for Shaler. Sam Askowitz getting that one. 8-3. It's a five-point Titan lead. Right side, Nolan Condrich, but right into the Shaler block. Well, Panthers getting good looks at it, but it's they're going right to the Shaler defenders. At the net, Nolan Condrich again, but right into the Shaler block. My goodness. The lead is seven now, 10-3. Mitch Boring. Finally, the Panthers get one. That one sailed way high and long off the hands of Justin Landry. 10-4, Panthers trail by six here pretty early, but it's, a, it's in the fourth set. But it's time to get some of these points back, see what Garrett O'Grady has now. There's a block, Nolan Condrich. His second tonight. Panthers trail by five. Another good serve, left side. John Pearson got it, popped it way up in the rafters, but down it came. Side out, point, Titans, and it's an 11-5, six-point Shaler lead. Free ball now for the Titans, back to the left side. A floater, Max Reno floating it off the St. Clair block. 12-7, seven, seven, or 12-5 rather, seven point Shaler lead. Substitution, Rob Mackey checks in, Garrett O'Grady will check out. The overpass to the Shaler side, polished off by Ty Shramowski, 13-5, the lead's now eight. Nolan Condrich, but right at a defender. Left side, Mitch Boring still cannot find the floor. Over it goes, free ball, Shaler, back set to the right side. Nolan Condrich off a block and still it's alive. Back row attack. Good little rally going here. Into the net and St. Clair gets the point and the side out. 13-6, Panthers trail by seven. Mitch.
Mitch Boring will be your server tonight. For a while, anyway. Oh, a whistling attack by Ty Shramowski. Finding that open slot in the back row. 14 6. It's an eight point Titan lead. James Galtieri with a Shaler serve. Nolan Kondrich finally gets another one. His third kill tonight. Side out, point Panthers, but here we go again. Trading points is not the way to solve this crisis. Kondrich with a serve. From the back row, tremendous dig by Nolan. And nice little edge of the ball over the net by Brad Kolitz. Seven kills tonight for Brad. Panthers trail by six. Left side, oh my goodness, another blistering attack by Ty Shramowski. He'll take a spot on the bench just now as Tommy Kautz comes on. Fifteen eight Shaler. Make it nine. Jared Brown tucking one in. Just inside the defense. Jared's own only his second kill tonight. He's usually got a lot more than that going on. Eric Lehman will do and will will do the St. Clair serving. Garrett O'Grady, number twenty one, checks back in for the Panthers. On the two ball, Eric Lehman, tremendous dig. And it's a free ball, Shaler. Joust one at the net by the Panthers, but not a point, LOL. Sort of a flail at it, double hits the official call. Panthers back within five, 15-10. Eric Lehman, the serve. It is out, all right, Panthers get one another one back, 15-11. The deficit is four. At the net. Eric Lehman, the little back set. Garrett O'Grady, but not to the floor. Touched over Mitch Boring at the net, though, and place blocked down. Smacks Reno. That set just went a little bit too far off of Mitch Boring. At, at the net, the place block by Max Reno. Settled that point. Short set, Jared Brown. Oh, yet another double hit called. Well, wish I could say he was being f favorites, but those, he's been calling them close, but both ways all night long. Jared Brown. And a tremendous Eric Lehman recovery to keep that ball alive. Jared Brown, kill number three. 17-12, Panthers need points. Short set left side off the block. Now to our left side, Mitch Boring, but oh my goodness, right into the Shaler block and down. 18-12, six point. Titan lead. Steve Jordan with the serve, and it is an ace. Bill Smith just rattled off his wrist and over the end line. And there are those pesky serving gods again. First you get one, then they take one. Ten errors and ten aces tonight for Shaler. Jared Brown, the server. My goodness, great set, and Sam Maskowitz putting that away, and it's a seven-point Shaler lead, 20 to 13, in what could be the deciding fourth set. Not if Nolan Kondrich has anything to say about it for his fourth kill.
Garrett O'Grady with the serve. Ty Shramowski with the Shaler put away. Rob Mackey, number 25, checks in. Garrett O'Grady out. 21-14, Shaler leads here in this fourth set. Mitch Boring still cannot buy one. Nolan Condrich can, though. My goodness, Nolan Condrich with a big hit. He's got five kills now. It'll be senior Mitch Boring to the back line for the St. Clair serve. Panthers trail by six. Nolan Condrich with one more. Six kills now for Nolan. Panthers back to within five. 21-16 Titans. Oh, and that serve lands just inside the back line. Superbly placed. Two aces for Mitch Boring. Seven on the night for the Panthers. Against only four errors, so that nets out nicely. 21-17, Panthers need four. Set left side, just edged over, covered nicely. It's back in free ball territory, Shaler. Just out, a good effort, but it lands just out to the far side near the scores table. Shaler gets the point and the side out, 22-17. Davis Gall Terry served it up. Four hits, it's not a block. It's four hits, Panthers need four. 22, 18, there's still life left here. Nolan Condrich, the junior with a serve. At the net. Oh, it's a roofing call. That's the same thing as goaltending in basketball. The ball's got to have a choice, a chance rather, to know whether it's going to go over the net or under. The violation gives Shaler a point. And there's the old rolling ace from Tommy Couts. Now Shaler, six match points are facing the Panthers. Can they fight them off? There's one, a lift call, Jared Brown forcing that action. Twenty-four, nineteen. Garrett O'Grady will check in for Rob Mackey. Back set right side. Sorry for the confusion, but the official gave it as if the Panthers were getting the point. They did not, and that puts this whole match in the record books. The Panthers. Well, Shaler came all the way here from the north side, way up road eight, and came in here and took a victory away from the Panthers by scores of 25-20. The Panthers won set number two, 25-17, and then set number three went to Shaler, 25-19, as did set number four, 25-19. It's a three-one set victory. Three sets to one victory for Shaler. Mitch Boring ends up the kill leader tonight with 10. Brad Kolditz, number 14, he had seven. Nolan Condrich, the freshman, He's got six, Garrett O'Grady with four, Jared Brown with four. That pretty well sums it up. It is an, uh, there's two more matches left. We're glad you were with us tonight, everybody, for this match. Kevin McGahee's my name.
Mike DeSantis was behind the camera all night. Thanks for watching Upper St. Clair Boys Volleyball on Upper St. Clair Cable 7. See you next time. Same place, same channel. Good night, everybody.